Call me a drink. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Paul, it's a direct action on capping rent. Rent hikes will now be capped at 3% per year starting May 1st of 2022. Landlords will be able to pay exceptions, or rather apply for exceptions. In Minneapolis, the city council now has the power to regulate rents in the future. They could either pass a rent control ordinance or have the public vote. New overnight, supporters say this is all about keeping life affordable, while those who oppose it say the long-term effects are risky. Jacob Fry has opposed rent control in the past. Meanwhile, St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter is in favor of it. Uh, speaking of the so they finally voted, at least in Minneapolis and St. Paul, guys. Let's give it a big old clap for rent control. Rent control, like, needs to boom in this country, <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna say this: everybody has human rights basic human rights and we live in a society that's built and structured in certain ways that holds certain individuals down or kicks them in the nuts while they're down or just smashes their face all plain up in the dirt and goes, oh, too bad too bad, you know. Rent control is important so that people can live. The cost of living is not the same everywhere, but it does fluctuate. I mean, actually, pretty much the cost of living, it just goes up. It hasn't gone down. Then. When was the last time the cost of living has actually gone down? That is a good question. It's a valid question. Because the cost of living is different state by state in the United States. And if you elevate that to a greater capacity, the cost of living country by country, continent by continent, you know, like community by community differs these things differ so it's a hard subject to let's just say universalize for everybody so rent control in minneapolis and minnesota is a f great stepping stone for the whole state of minnesota and um have it it probably is going to be a great stepping stone for the country if it has happened in multiple other states where or cities in states i should say um this is something that needs to boom because everybody deserves to have a right to a, a safe shelter to live in and how many i don't know about anywhere else but i drive around this state and there are structures that just sit empty they built them and they're like townhomes apartments housing complexes and they're so expensive that nobody can move into them and they just sit empty empty perfectly good structures for individuals who are either homeless or can't afford a place to live or are at risk. Perfectly good structures that are already built that no one can afford. But they are empty and people are out on the streets. The Does anybody have a problem with that? Do like it's like, I don't like that. I don't like 
knowing that there are a whole lot of homeless people and people who are at risk or people who are living in dangerous situations that can't leave because they have nowhere to go or they don't they can't find their own independence because they can't afford their own independence so I want to know what our country and our is gonna do to invest into that situation at a greater capacity I want to know what's gonna happen with all of these developments that sit empty because the contractors have to get paid to build them they're the ones that maybe get paid they made shit they might get stiffed too but the developer who like builds like come the architect or whoever comes up with the development structure like and has to sell that property you know somebody is getting shortchanged but there's a lot of people getting shortchanged because whoever owns those buildings obviously has to make the money off of the sale of them or you know the marketability so because we live on a monetary system of that nature somebody is waiting for somebody to buy these buildings for somebody to live in isn't that some fucked up roundabout shit when i sit here and i'm thinking hmm our government is investing money in a lot of stuff that us citizens really it's not even gonna fucking benefit us I mean why not go to these developers and buy these houses for section 8 or these structures for section 8 or a different program that you guys like to create them so why don't you just create another one I know because it's so easy to create programs you wouldn't believe how easy it is for them to create a program they probably already have mock structures built up what I buy the empty houses and get people in there that are low income so that they can have a place to live and security for their children and their families and their future and maybe the American dream can get revived bump 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 because I'm pretty sure that somebody stabbed and murdered the fucking American dream after 1980s in the 1990s the American dream was getting poisoned and maybe given a little bit of a sedative so that it could think that it was gonna be staying around but then it got date raped and murdered and now we need to figure out how to resurrect the American dream maybe we can start with affordable housing so that people can have a security in where they live so that then they could have a security and being able to get better jobs and maybe daycare or like uh, at least be able to have a babysitter at a house you know something to that effect I mean, okay, this is too much for pre coffee. I'm going to drink some Javalia today, and it's going to be delicious. Right, stop going up. Uh, so, um, I told myself. I'm not gonna open my new bag of coffee <laughs> until I'm done with all the Javalia. <laughs> but partial way to my goal, finished off all the Colombian Javalia just recently. But the house blend Javalia that I bought came in a bigger bag, so you know it's it's still kicking. But it's good, so you know I am. I actually ran out of peace coffee first because <sighs> peace coffee, you know, just makes you so peaceful. But I don't look very peaceful. <laughs> but um Tavalia is next. And now I have not tried this other brand of coffee 
that is the next bag to be opened. Um, but it's pretty popular, so I'm gonna let you wonder what it is until the next video after this one. Cause that's just the brew of the day. <laughs> it's the brew of the day. So I had to separate myself My life is fucked but I ain't never been to hate myself I had a baby so you know they made a nigga calmer When y'all pissed all on my grave that made me even stronger Back in the day I would've fucked around and ran up on you Need a big hug And I'm giving Nigeria a big huge hug today You guys have the best UFC fighters. You have all of the champions. You know what that says about your country? That you're a country of champions. Sending infinite love, light, peace, and healing to everybody in Nigeria. Especially the people who are trapped in that building. Sending realization to the people in charge that they need to help out their people by building better structures and investing in them. Okay, that's been a pre-coffee rant and I got to I got to drink more coffee before I pulverize something like a UFC fighter and it's it's going to be We don't want that. Coffee keeps me from being violent. I think that I would have to become a UFC fighter if I stopped drinking coffee. The story never ends, like I'm really just beginning Change my whole style up, robbing every crime we did When I say fuck, I'm on screaming that to the racist Anybody else to ever show the nigga hatred Ain't a nigga